Hey guys, doing Deck Deck here. If you have already, you do me a favor, hit the like and subscribe. Oh yeah, to go ahead and push that bell for notifications so also you can get to school my news upcoming videos. Okay, so I have some big news by the title of it. Lionsgate is stepping its hat into the ring. And they're going to make a live action series of Naruto. Wow. This is going to be so epic and just amazing right here. Now, I know in the past... It was a failure, so what they did with Death Note, including Dragon Ball Z, they should never have come to life. Like, if you, you know, what I'm thinking, I'm like, fan made films of like live action series and from anime when they bring them to life, such as Reanime and X Raven, like these guys, they're masters at what they do when they bring animated uh, like fight scenes to life. But, I don't know, I guess people nowadays, they don't even know how to do it in big budget movie projects or anything like that. But, Netflix pulled, um, well, they did a really good job with One Piece, I gotta admit that. Now, Lionsgate actually, uh, spilled the news at a cinema comic con, it was, uh, this year. A theater exhibition in Las Vegas, Nevada. A comic book was there to get all the updates when Lionsgate took the stage. It was there to company mention Naruto. They approach the creator of Naruto, Kishimoto. Okay, so Kishimoto basically um, he's the main creator of manga and um, in the novels of Naruto. All the way from 1999, and it hit the screen in 2002. First, uh, he had, it was in his baby, it was in his hands, the Japanese, then America. They wanted it, and when they got it, they're like, we need English dub actors for this. And to this day, Naruto is still worldwide legendary known, basically, I could say, for an animated TV show that came in 2002 to 2007, and then we had... Um, Naruto Shippuden and Brutal. I'm not really a big fan of Brutal, but the thing is about Brutal is that uh, I only like the movie Brutal. The movie Brutal was actually darn pretty good. That's all I like. The rest of it's like they didn't really have returning characters. Like all the other characters were like basically, um, I guess retired you could say and stuff. Yuri actually retired from the role as Sasuke Uchiha. Uh, they left, um, he left uh, it to another actor, I suppose, I believe. And he's off doing playing the role as Spider Man in the game. I played Spider Man in the game. I mentioned Yuri, the voice actor, before. And him playing the role as Peter Parker, it, his voice is the anime Sasuke Uchiha. It's kind of weird. <laughs> I can admit, but still, yeah, I think this is going to be pretty epic. Now, Naruto is going to be really difficult. Not only is it a dark uh, animated TV show, most likely because it had a lot of blood and killing in it, especially when it was on Cartoon Network, blood and killing. But then again, you got to think about, uh, there was, um, ooh, my goodness. Uh, Tokyo Gold. There was Tokyo Gold too as well. Tokyo Gold was like, oh my goodness. A lot of ghouls eating each other and stuff. It was violent, bloody, and crazy as well. But still, I believe Naruto will be actually harder to create. I don't think that there was ever a movie. They did, Japanese did create um, a Tokyo Gold movie. There is a Tokyo Gold movie out there, but... Um, I only saw the trailer. I haven't seen, like, the full-on movie. I need to check it out, but some people said that it was good. The Japanese know what they're doing and stuff when they're making those type of movies. Um, well, I guess say, like, for Netflix, Netflix tried to make a movie. Bleach kind of did feel utterly bad, terrible and stuff. My thing is this. They pulled it off. Netflix pulled it off making... One Piece, actually a live action and a really good one to actually watch with like true anime fans. 
and the anime community, well, their words stepped in and most of them thought that it was actually pretty decent for a live action film. That was one, their only successful film, I'd say, that came to life in the live action anime one. I believe that only Lionsgate and Cinemax are the only uh, big companies that can actually pull this off. Netflix was just lucky that they're able to get uh, good writers and good actors, basically. Now, the thing is that I want to say, I forgot to say this in my review video of Avatar Last Airbender uh, on Netflix. Uh, Brian and Matthew, I believe it was Brian Matthew, the original creators of the animated series. They were part of the project at the beginning, like the live um, action series. They are scouting out different locations, but they abandoned the project. And so they hired new showrunners. Now, I gathered the piece together and the new showrunners wanted to run Avatar The Last Airbender their own way in a different story. They're not going to stick with Brian's story at all. They want to do it in their own words and their own um, storytelling the way how they believe what Aang is like, like Team Avatar and stuff. Their casting was debatable whether or not it was good or not. I thought it was um, okay. They did it. They did a good job with the VFX. The effects too with it if netflix could pull that off what can lionsgate do because lionsgate is well let's just say that they have so many tools in their arsenal that could blow up the internet if they actually even try to continue to make this which they inevitably will when they make it when they post it out and well let's just say that the person behind the camera is not going to be kishimoto only it's going to be destin daniel Critton. if you don't if you guys don't know destin he's the one who created marvel's well directed marvel's shang chi so i guess um with the marvel cinematic director uh, yeah, I think they could pull it off if it's a Marvel Cinematic Director, because Marvel, like, their effects are kind of, like, a little more better than DC's, I gotta admit. Like, seriously, on so many levels, they are. Uh, so, he's gonna be a co-writer. He and his team are gonna be co-writers. Kishimoto is still gonna proceed and address every single thing inside the scripts, and... Hopefully they'll cast the correct characters, the actors that will portray these iconic roles. Man, if this comes out, I could do lore videos on all of them. I'm a huge Naruto geek. I love Naruto. Naruto is just awesome. I have all the headbands still inside my closet. <laughs> Shinobi headbands. Uh, other than that... I believe that they could pull off Keke Genkai's uh, powers come to life. If you guys know what Keke Genkai is, are a Keke Genkai, you guys are OGs. Alright, other than that, what do you guys think about this? Are you guys looking forward to it? There is no release date yet. So I'm still looking for it. Um, I guess we gotta wait in time because... Uh, if they're making a TV series like this, a live action one, it's going to take a long time to do it. Because there were whispers and rumors that were circling around in 2016 about Lionsgate like just poking at this project and thinking that, can we actually make this or should we not make this at all? I mean, if fans, YouTubers could actually pull stuff like this off, then... Why can't Lionsgate do it? Or Cinemax? Hey, you never know. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are new, subscribe to the channel. And yes, of course, I'll see you all in the next one.